Hi, and welcome back to Apple Cottage. This is Sandy. Well, it's really cold and windy out today. It's snowing some, and so I thought I would show you how I store my vegetables, herbs, and flower seeds. Now, usually this little cabinet is downstairs in my pantry, but at this time of the year, I like to bring it up. I like to go through it, see if there's anything that's really way too old. I like to organize it. And so this was just a perfect time because I was working on my seed tapes. And um, we talked about those on Tuesday, or excuse me, on Thursday when we did our first episode of Gardening Together. So I just thought I would go through here and just show you what I do. I'm gonna bring the camera a little teeny bit closer so that you can see inside the drawers. And as we go down, we'll just talk about each thing. Now in my first drawer, really what I'm keeping is envelopes, markers, note, note cards, any information that I might find useful in the future. I like these little coin envelopes because a lot, a lot of my friends know that I save seeds and sometimes they want to try a vegetable or a flower or an herb. And so I've saved those seeds and um, I just give them some of these. My next drawer has some extra markers that wouldn't fit in my Crocs where I store them usually. And then these three seed catalogs, I've already gone through and ordered anything that I wanted out of them. And so I just put them in here because later on I'm going to use those. Let me move that down a little bit. Because right here, um, I'm ordering this salary. And so when my seeds come and I start doing my notebook for 2020, I'm going to cut this information out. I'm going to cut the photograph that matches it. And that's going to go in my notebook. And that all goes alphabetical so that it's easy reference. Um, if I really like something, I know that I got it from this catalog. It was this variety. It's a good cross reference for me. And especially if you're growing something like a new flower that you're not familiar with, this is just a good way to go back and forth and know exactly which plant is which. Now the next drawer has my overflow of seed tapes. I couldn't fit everything in the drawer below. And so I just have those in there. Every single one already has its garden marker inside there. And so I just slide it in, a rubber band goes around it, and so it stores well for me. I also have my container of my little jars. And next Tuesday, when we do our second episode of Gardening Together, I'm going to talk about these jars and how I use them. The other thing that's in this drawer is that one time I, I bought these. It, this one is medical herbs and the other one is vegetables. They're all vacuum sealed, so they're supposed to store for a really long time. And so I guess it's just in case of emergency. I use a lot of herbs anyway, and so I just thought it might be something to keep. My next drawer is just completely filled with seed tapes, all ready for my gardens. Um, I have beets and kale and rutabagas and turnips, carrots, radishes, lettuce, all kinds of things. Anything that I could do this winter to prepare and make when I plant my garden easier. Oh, I'm sorry, bump that. The very last um, drawer in my cabinet is all my seeds. The first two are vegetables, all in alphabetical order, so they're easy to find. And each one will have, like this is the section with beet, so right before the, that starts, it will have a label. The next row is herbs. The next one is all my flowers. And then back behind the flowers, I have where I store all of my tomato seeds. And on Tuesdays, we're gonna talk about that. Over here is just extra seeds that don't come in packets or I saved them and I didn't have a packet or an envelope at the time. And so they just go over here. And then this one's heavy. So then this cabinet will go back downstairs. 
Um, I have all my seed tapes done, everything that I thought that I could possibly do. So it makes my planting so much easier. Downstairs, this goes into the pantry. It's very cool down there. We have the windows all blocked off. So no heat or um, excessive cold can come through. And then on the wall that is the same wall where the wood stove is on the other side, we have a thermal layer so that it doesn't affect the temperature into in there. So really with everything closed off, we have it so that there's no air coming in through the bottom of the door. It stays about 55, 60 degrees. So it's just perfect for a pantry and perfect for storing seeds. I know that some people do freeze their seeds. I've never done that. I think that would work with some seeds, but other seeds I don't think it would be very helpful. So I'm just, thought I would just take a minute show you about um, how do I store seeds. I hope that you're storing some seeds so that um, it makes gardening a little more economical for you. And as always, if you like my videos, please um, like, subscribe, and share with the world. Stay warm, stay prosperous, and remember every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have a video series called Gardening Together, and I try to upload those videos by 10 o'clock on those days. So have a great day.